It's a crazy YouTuber, and welcome to Would You Rather. Now, I've been wanting to play this for you guys for a while, and, um, and before we start, let me tell you something, okay? It's a little bit of TMI, but at the moment, I really don't care. I am hangry. And if you don't know what hangry is, it's when you're hungry and angry at the same time. The reason that being is when I went downstairs to make myself some dinner, like two st st <laughs> anyway, two sandwiches with a handful of this shit, not sponsored, wish it was though, I need money, <laughs> but um, but apparently my parents decided to uh, be naughty during dinner time, and yeah. So, no cheddar cheese for anyone. It's all mine. So, again, but let me just tell you, warn you, I will be eating and I will be drinking because apparently I couldn't make sandwiches because my parents decided to screw each other and, um, and there was no unfrozen bread. So, you're just gonna have to deal with me eating and drinking. So, Grab some snacks if you want. Grab a freaking soda or whatever. Let's play Would You Rather. Mm. Mm. Refreshing. Would you rather be forced to tell your best friend a lie? <coughs> My voice changed. Always sleep an hour less than you need to be fully re restored. Rested. I I rather always sleep an hour less. Wait, wait, hold on. Be forced to tell your best friend a lie, or always sleep an hour less than you need to be fully rested. Okay, I would be forced to tell a best f my best friend a lie because my sleep is more important because that's my health, that's my physical health. That is more important, and I might sound like a sociopath saying that, but hey. Eh. Sleep is more important, so be forced to tell your best friend a lie. Alright. Would you rather go to a family reunion or be eight feet tall? Well, I'm five foot four. Hmm. Go to be eight feet tall, because I really don't want to associate with my family. The only family member that I, that I respect, well, Well, she wasn't the only one, I, she's not the only one that I respect, but the only one that, um, that I would tolerate being in the same room for, like, a bunch of hours died three months ago. So, yeah, so I'll be eight feet tall. Right. Would you rather eat a handful of hair or step on a crab? Eat a handful of hair. I've done I've done it before, okay? I've done it before when I used to have long hair. Okay. Would you rather meet an alien visitor or take bad advice? Meet an alien visitor because if aliens invaded the planet, I would literally run up to him and go, "You I'll allow you to probe me for information all you want. Just just take me with you, please. Get me off of this planet." And oh, spoiler alert. There is no intelligence here, okay? So you came to the wrong planet, okay? We have we have Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump running for president. Does, does that look like we there's some intelligent life forms on this planet? <laughs> yeah, take me with you, please. So yeah, me an alien visitor. Okay, would you rather be eight feet tall or travel the out outer space? Travel the outer space. Would you rather only be able to whisper, or be born with an elephant trunk? Now let's think about this. If I was only able to whisper in class, the teacher would be like, sorry, I can't hear you, and sorry, I can't hear you, and blah, blah, blah. But then again, 
it will give it will give me a good excuse to not present in front of people or go up to the board. I mean, to be honest, the only class that I like going up to the board and doing work on is a math class. That's the only that's the only class that I love doing it because I love math. Okay, I'm obsessed with math. Well, I'm not obsessed with math because if I was, I would have math clothes and math posters and shit. But I do love math. Math is my favorite subject, and I have no idea why. I just love it. But um. But, and if I was born with an elephant trunk, that would make eating much easier because I wouldn't have to use my hands. I can just use my trunk, and I can just do the same thing uh, elephants do when they eat. I can just, I can just use my trunk to grab the food and stuff it in my mouth. Granted, there will be some boogers coming in my mouth, but hey, if it's easier to eat, uh, easier to eat food... I'll do that. So, um, only be able to whisper or be born with an elephant trunk. Hmm. You know, I'd rather only be able to whisper because I don't want boogers in my mouth mixed with my food. And, and it would, um, help, and it'll help me with my freaking anxiety when it comes to other classes besides math. So, yeah. Would you rather not be able to use your phone or travel to outer space? Travel to outer space, okay? I, whenever I got in trouble, and this used to happen, I don't know if it'll still happen now, but um, but whenever I got in trouble and my, my parents would take away uh, my iPod Touch, which is similar to a phone, uh, similar to an iPhone and shit, except it has no camera and I can't call people, but um. <sighs> But my parents would take that uh, away from me, and I used to go nuts without having it, but considering that uh, they kept on doing it and doing it, I just got used to it, and now if they take my stuff, I'm like, really? Really? And then I'm just like, y you know this won't teach me anything, and this doesn't affect me anymore, but then whenever I tell that to my parents, my parents are, would be like, they're then it shouldn't bother you. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't bother me. I'm just wondering why you keep doing it. Why do you think it still affects me? What what does this achieve? How is this going to teach me anything? All right. And they and they wonder why I started stealing from them at a young age because at a young age they would take my stuff whenever they're angry at me. So I thought. When I'm angry at them, that would mean I should take their stuff. Because whenever they were angry at me, if I didn't do anything or something, they would take my stuff. So that's why I start. That's why I started stealing at a young age. But but I stopped in sixth grade. So so yeah. The more you know about me. So yeah, travel the outer space. Would you rather be a hairy all over or eat five tablespoons of hot pepper sauce? Okay, first things first. I'm already hairy all over. Okay, I got hair here. I got peach fuzz here, which still considers this hair. I got hair here. I got hair on my legs. I got hair in places that is none of your business. Um... But the only place I don't have hair is my armpits because that produces odor and I'm trying not to stink. But the rest of my body is hairy. Alright, so I already have blue. So I'm going to go with red because I love spicy shit. So yeah, I would eat five tablespoons of hot pepper sauce. Alright, I love spicy. Would you rather be forced to tell your best friend a lie or be able to take back everything you say? Anything you say? Be able to take back anything I say. So, uh, yeah. Would you rather lick three public telephones or be born with an elephant trunk? Again, with the elephant trunk. What the fuck? Um. I'd rather not lick three public telephones because that can have, like, diseases on there, like gonorrhea. 
and shit and and I probably would get cancer from doing it even though my channel is probably cancer considering I'm so cringy as fuck but um I'd rather have an elephant trunk would you rather be a tree or eat five tablespoons of hot pepper sauce again okay, that would you rather be rich and ugly or go about your normal day naked okay one my boyfriend might say otherwise but I'm already ugly I mean this my teeth that ain't sexy mm -mm. <laughs> this right here underneath my my first chin it ain't sexy the flabby arms even though they're not really that flabby not as sexy so I'm already <laughs> ugly <laughs> Um, and I really don't want to go about my normal day naked, so rich and ugly. So, yeah. Would you rather be a giant hamster or be rich and ugly? Giant hamster. Because I'd be adorable. I might be giant, but I'll be adorable. Would you rather be happy for eight hours slash day and poor or always lose? Eight hours a day and poor? I'd rather be happy. Because in my life right now, I ain't happy. Would you rather fall asleep for a year or be a fly? Fall asleep for a year. If I was a fly, I would get killed shortly. First first time I become a fly, boom. Well, it's like committing seppuku, but... Mm. Would you rather be invisible or be without television? Be invisible. It will be easier to prank people. And I really want to prank people. I want to prank my mom so bad. Would you rather be completely bald or eat a gallon of, eat a gallon of ice cream, man? <laughs> That's my shit. Would you rather step on a crab or go to, amuse go to an amusement park? I love that. Especially if there's clowns there. Sign me the fuck up for a carnival or amusement park or anything. Would you rather... Sweat, have a metal pan in your jaw that constantly picks you up. Talk radio, what? Or always take a, always take a cold shower. I kind of like cold showers. Would you rather always have to say everything in your mind or always wear earmuffs? Always wear earmuffs because there is a lot of people that I really don't want to listen to. Would you rather love and not be loved back or be gossiped about? I'd rather be gossiped about. I mean, it already happens anyway. Would you rather kiss a jellyfish or always wear earmuffs? Always wear earmuffs. Again, there's people I really don't want to listen to. Would you rather be without television or be never talked about at all? Be never talked about at all. I have feelings, you know. Respect them. Would you rather be forced to tell you your best friend a lie or publish your diary? Publish my diary. My diaries are interesting. Would you rather always take a cold shower or be never talked about at all? Always take a cold shower. Would you rather eat a stick of butter or be without television? Television. Now, as a chubby person, and yes, I'm chubby. Apparently, I'm not considered fat, but, um... I'd rather eat a stick of butter. Alright. Well, actually, <laughs> now that I think about it, I have not thought about this too well, okay? I do not like television as much as I used to. Uh, used to. There is just uh, too much shit on the television, okay? There is too much shit, alright? And I think I'm starting to overgrow the freaking kids channel because... Because not even some of the shows that my friends are into that they're obsessed of, I'm not even into. Like, the only kids shows that I'm into at the moment is Spongebob Squarepants, Gravity Falls, Steven Universe, and Adventure Time. That's it. And I don't even think Gravity Falls is for kids because have you seen that freaking show? Oh my god, that was Scar a Child. <laughs> But then again, I remember, I just remember what kids are like nowadays. Yeah. Never mind. 
But I'd rather be without television. Would you rather drink a bottle of dishwashing liquid or be forgotten? Hmm. I'm <laughs> I'm still surprised that <laughs> I'm surprised that, that doesn't say drink a bottle of bleach. <laughs> be forgotten. Well, not everyone knows me, so nothing would really change. Mm. This is getting really deep. You know, I'd rather uh, drink a bottle of dishwashing liquid. Would you rather be able to take back anything you say or give up your computer? Oh, uh, no. No, no, no. I need my computer to make videos. So I'd rather be able to take back anything I say. Would you rather eat a stick of margarine or be happy? Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Would you rather only be able to whisper or always wear a nose plug? Always wear a nose plug because there are some people at my school who stink really bad. And and yeah, you know, just I don't want to smell. Okay. Be happy for eight hours a day and poor or live without music. Be happy. I cannot live without music. Would you rather be never talked about at all? Make headlines for si make headlines for saving somebody's life. Fun fact: I actually saved two of my friends' lives. Sort of. I stopped them from committing suicide because, well, they were probably doing it for attention, though. But what happened is they, both of them. Both of my friends. One was uh, female, and the other one identified as male. And they're separate years, but they sent a picture telling of pills, telling me that they just took a lot of them and they wanted to commit suicide. And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, um, as your friend, and yes, your actual friend." I advise you not to do that because if you do do that, when I die and I find you up in heaven or whatever, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Okay, so you better throw up those fucking pills right now, or I will find where you live and I will come over there and slap you myself. I'm not waiting until I die to slap you there. Mm -mm. That's not exactly what I said. It, it was more emotional and it was more. If you do this, then you are not my friend at all. So, uh, yeah. But they didn't. They threw up the pills and. Mm, they're, they're still alive to this day. So, would you rather be poor and good looking or be a tiny rhino? Be poor and good looking. Because if I'm a tiny rhino, I probably can be stepped on. It depends on what size the rhino is. Would you rather travel to outer space or be never talked about at all? Travel to outer space. Would you rather always win pie eating contests or, or get spying on your crush? Get caught spying on your crush? Always win pie eating contest. I mean, I don't have any crushes at the moment because, um, because I have a boyfriend. So, would you rather eat poison ivy? Which poison ivy are we talking about? Are we talking about the plant or the chick from Batman? Because if we're talking about the chick from Batman, it depends on what you mean by eating. Or be born with an elephant trunk. Be born with an elephant trunk. Would you rather live in a tree or be poor and good looking? Living in a tree. I could be fun. Would you rather be poor and good looking or make headlines in somebody's life? Okay, all of these are just... Yeah, all of these are just repeating themselves. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment. Tell me if you want to make another Would You Rather uh, video. Um... And... I, like I said, I wanted to do this for a long time. I saw other YouTubers doing it, and I thought it would be fun so that way you guys can get to know me a little bit more. 
and I think that was something to regret. But yeah, but if you like this video, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and mean a lot to me. This is a crazy YouTuber signing out, and you guys just keep being crazy. Bye.